hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm gonna be showing you how to root samsung galaxy j5 so let's get started so first you have to open your browser and go to these two links i'll leave the link in the description so first link is the usb driver the samsung usb driver you have to just click on it and it will start downloading i have already downloaded it so i'm not gonna download it again and you have to go to the cf auto root page and then you have to search for your model number if you scroll down you will see a lot of model numbers you have to search your model number here so my model number is smj500h so you have to look up to your model and download the correct file so i have to just keep scrolling down and as you can see my model number is here so the samsung smg 500h and my code name is j53gxx so you have to look up to your model and download the correct one if your model number is smg 500g or m or y or n0 something like that so my model number is here i'm just i'm going to click on download and then here if you click on this it will start downloading i'm not gonna download it i have already downloaded it so now you have to close chrome because we are done with the chrome part so first we have to install your the samsung usb driver just double click on it and it will open up and you have to click on next and next and install this will install a usb driver and while that's installing you have to go to your phone settings app and then go to the developer options if you don't see the developer options the option you have to go to about device and you have to go to software info and then tap seven times on the build number and then if you go back you will get your developer options so if you go to developer options you will see the oem unlock here you just have to touch it and it will prompt if you want to turn on the oem unlocking just click on turn on i mean just touch on turn on and it's done so now you can leave the phone and now we wait for the samsung usb driver to install keep in mind that to that the phone should be connected to your computer and after the installation is done you have to just click on finish and then as you can see it's going to set up your samsung device I'm gonna have to allow the permission over here all right now you have to go to the cf auto root zip file you have to just extract it I'm gonna I'm using winrar you can use any zip extractor and then after you open the folder which has been extracted you will see these five files so first you have to turn off your phone and boot your phone into the download mode just power of the device and after the device has been completely powered off it's going to turn on because I have connected the USB now you're gonna have to hold the power button and the home button and the volume down button simultaneously so let me just do that and as you can see it will show you a warning you have to just press the volume up button and it's going to go to download mode so now you have to open Odin and then as you can see you should see that your device has been added over here now you have to click on AP and then you have to select this CF auto roots file and now after it's loaded it's all those things you have to click on start 
and now all you have to do is just wait until your phone is rooted your phone is going to reboot as you can see it's running some commands and something And as you can see, it's saying rebooting in 10 seconds. So after your phone is success successfully rebooted, you have a rooted phone. You can install TWRP recovery and do other kinds of stuff. Now you have to just wait for the phone to reboot. And then if you want, you can download any root checker app and you can see if your phone is rooted or not the reboot may take a long time so you don't have to panic it's just rooting the phone and doing some other stuff and as you can see in the odin software if you see this pass sign then your phone has been successfully rooted as you can see the phone rebooted itself so you have to go to the home screen then the phone is successfully rooted you can do all kinds of stuff you can install custom kernels and everything and there you have it your phone is successfully rooted as you can see the j5 just popped up on my computer and now you can just exit the odin software and as you can see your phone is rooted you will see the super so application over here so there you have it guys your phone is rooted so if you find this video helpful then please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video